We are making a difference. 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 My name is Joanne King. I'm from Gimli, Manitoba, and I work for the Rural Municipality of Gimli. The Fair Trade Initiative came forward to our community and our council um, in approximately 2008-2009. Uh, the community started the initiative at the uh, high school level, bringing the students in and getting them involved. It came forward to the council in a formal way in 2009. Uh, we had a youth member on our council who was very uh, instrumental in giving us the information on fair trade and from there council took steps to put resolutions in place uh, to support the initiative. Gimli considers it important to, to consider fair trade initiatives because of what the program stands for. It represents um, unfairness in the world and I think that Gimli is a community that uh, believes in fairness. It is a community that recognizes that uh, you should be compensated for your work or your product uh, we have uh, various um, programs here or, or um, industries here that would, would strongly agree. Uh, we also are aware of the, f the impact on children in the world in respect to this uh, fair trade issue and I think that's one that, that hits home very strongly with our community. The fact that it was brought forward by the youth and is so strongly supported by the youth uh, I think is a key factor in being able to move the program forward. Um, the youth understand it, they identify with it, they talk about it with uh, other people in the community, the older people, and uh, I think that's been a huge uh, driver of the, pro the program. My name is Paul Cuthbert. I'm the superintendent of the Evergreen School Division in the eastern Interlake region of Manitoba. The whole issue of fair trade uh, as part of our sustainability initiatives uh, really emerged from the actions of students. Uh, and we had a number of students uh, from the Gimli High School that were involved in what we call the Youth Community Partnership within Gimli under the leadership of Zach Groves. And these students became aware of fair trade issues through their involvement in that association and actually came back to our student council within the school division to say this is an issue it relates to education for sustainable development and as a public education institution we should be making our youth aware of this and engaging them uh, in fair trade initiatives and so as a result a presentation was made to our leadership team our board of trustees and back in 2009, our Board of Trustees uh, endorsed the principle of fair trade in terms of uh, procurement of goods uh, for our school division. And since then, we've been actually quite active in terms of engaging our sustainability committee and our youth committees in terms of uh, exploring uh, the acquisition of fair trade goods for use within our school division. The challenges, and they are, they are becoming better over time, but uh, the challenges are uh, the availability of fair trade goods in terms of the wide variety of goods that we require within our school division, uh, but also the price point of those goods. And so what we'd like to see is uh, a wider availability of uh, these goods. And, and what we are seeing is that as it becomes more popular, it's a supply and demand thing. So as it becomes more popular and available, then the price points become more competitive. Um, so in terms of our vision for it, we'd like to reach a point where uh, most of the goods that we are acquiring are in fact fair trade goods. Uh, and that uh, you know we have uh, good access to quality materials through fair trade products uh, and that uh, we can say in fact that we are truly a fair trade exclusively uh, and in fact turn that into a policy for our procurement and acquisition. We're not at that point yet but uh, it's certainly a vision that we have. In terms of sustainability as a concept um, we know that the trajectory that our world is headed towards right now is not sustainable. And unless uh, we as a public education system uh, take action and empower and uh, provide the youth with the competencies and capacities to make changes, that uh, we're going to be in serious trouble. And so it's very important that we 
provide our youth with those opportunities to make those changes and provide them with the capacities to have the ability to do that. My name is Lisa Zielinski. I'm from Gimli, Manitoba and I'm from the Fresh Carrot Health Food and Lifestyle. The Fresh Carrot is a natural health food store serving Manitoba's Interlake region. At the Fresh Carrot, we actively work to promote fair trade products by, um, by stocking fair trade products in our store and working to expand our product selection uh, on an ongoing basis. We also promote fair trade through our Facebook promotions, our newspaper advertisements, as well as in-store signage. We are in the middle of our second annual Fair Trade Grows campaign. We have expanded this to a location inside Winnipeg now, and we are doing our best that next year we can have even more uh, participants promoting Fair Trade Roses. We were very happy and humbled to be honored by those outside of our community uh, for the recent uh, Canadian National Fair Trade Awards. To be grouped with some of the other uh, business participants was an incredible experience for us, especially after only being in business for one year to be recognized on this level was truly humbling. Uh, it was incredible to meet the people behind the Fair Trade banner in uh, Toronto and to meet some of the other award winners and what they have done to promote Fair Trade gave us new ideas. It also opened our, uh, our eyes to what else is going on in the world and how they are trying to be active and change. I, I feel that, it, that what Gimli's doing here uh, makes a difference in the world based on the fact that any one person on any given day can make a decision to change the world. And it's those small steps that add up into the larger steps. Gimli is a small community, but it has a voice and we uh, believe in this initiative. So I think that, that our voice is, is maybe only one, but one of many. My name is Joanne King, and we are making a difference. My name is Paul Cuthbert, and we are making a difference. My name is Lisa Zielinski, and we are making a difference.